Today we launch a new e-learning course called Business Portrait Photography. Now, one of the few topics that we dedicate in this course is to teach portrait photographers how to get into business portrait with minimal investment and lighting setup. Well, what's more minimal than learning how to shoot with one light? And this is today's tutorial. And I find today's tutorial interesting because I got a real-life business portrait client agreeing to model for today's tutorial. Everybody, the lovely Shami. I know you've seen a lot of YouTube tutorials about one light photo shoot, but this is my number one secret. Step one, get yourself a wall, preferably a white wall. Step two, I know that a lot of people do not like to perform a photo shoot standing up. They just do not know what to do with their hands. Hence, get yourself a table so that your subjects can lean on this table and you will always have a natural hand pose. And this table is exactly what I'm going to give Shami today. With Shami comfortably leaning on the table that I gave her, position this table about six feet away from the wall. Next step. Add on the light. I've just dragged in a studio mono block, 600 watt per second, with a square rectangular softbox, and position it behind Shami. If you use one light, one of the best secrets I can tell you, position it behind your subject, not so much in front. And this is how the whole setup looked like. Wall, photographer, table, Shami, and that one light. Set the flash behind your subject to half power. Why do I choose half power? If you ever have a light with a distance and a power that you do not know, set it to half. Don't set it to full. You're gonna fry the subject. Now let's go through the settings that I will use on my camera. Not knowing what's the power of the flash there, I would use an ISO of 200 on my camera, an F value of F8, somewhere in the middle, and then the shutter speed of about 1 over 100. Try not to break the sync speed of 1 over 200. So, we're ready now. Let's do the shoot. Wait. Don't do the shoot yet. Shemi, I need you to step away from a wall. This is the process that I'm going to teach you how you get a perfect white background. With all these settings, I'm going up to my camera, pre-focus on the table. Don't pre-focus onto the softbox. It will not focus. There is no contrast. Pre-focus on the table. Lock, recompose, and boom, take a shot. This is what you will see. But remember to look at the histogram. The aim here is to get one line on the extreme right-hand side of your histogram. When you get that, your background is perfectly white. If your background is not perfectly white, this is how it will look like on the histogram. So the aim here is to get it flushed on the right-hand side of the histogram. Now, you add the chamois. Put the subject in front now. Focus on her eyes. Take that shot. Whoa, well, when you see a shot like this, it means two things. That the flash behind your subject is probably too bright or second, your F number is too low. So I'm doing F8 now. So the first thing I'll do is increase the F number. Hence, I'll try F16. Not a good choice, but let's try anyway. Chin up a little bit, that's beautiful. Smile a little bit more. Good. Okay, this is what I get now. The background is still white, but Shami now is too underexposed. So which means that my F value is too high. So what I like to do, instead of shooting at F16, you can drop your F value. Remember this rule, when you add flash, aperture controls the exposure of your subject. So how do I make Shemi brighter? Look at this histogram. That's Shemi. This part of the histogram. That's her face, that's her white dress. So I will just drop my F number to F11. And smile a bit more, chin up a bit, and boom. So now you have a problem. This is too bright, subject is too dark, and this one's still flat. 
When you see a combination like this, even though you go from 8, 11, 16, it looks like none of this problem is contributed by your F number. That means the flash behind you is simply too bright. So we need to drop the power. So what did we learn today? If you see flare in your photo and changing the F number doesn't help, bring this power down. I'm going to bring this right down to minimum. I do not like to use high F value on subjects because it will just bring out the wrinkle. With the flash power reduced, I'm back to F8 now and come to the front, smile a little bit more. Boom. Done. Your one light shot with minimal power on the flash behind the subject at F8, that's how you do a one light. So the secret is light behind your subject, wall in front of you. Even better, in future, get to lean on the wall. And I know, I know which one you're going to like, this one. Yes, I like this. But I find that it's, that, you know, the pose is a little bit too glam. It's not like a... Bis it's okay, I like this. I know. You hired me to do a business portrait. We need to still make this look a little bit more business portrait. Okay. When that happens, add a pen. Somebody get a pen. And... That's how you turn a glamorous pose into a business shot. And that was one light business portrait. That's how you do it. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have, we have just launched a new e-learning called Business Portrait Photography. Subscribe to it. There are many more of such amazing lessons in this course. It's available now for subscription at US dollar 15. You know what? Let's give a promo to it. Let's have the price at US dollar 10 for the next three days. Limited three days. Sign up now is just 10 US dollar. I hope you support our new e-learning. Thank you. I won. <gasps> nice. Yeah. Can we shoot a little bit wider? But then you're gonna see the edge of the saw box. Just add one more. Saw box? Yeah. Then we have two lights, then it's not called one light. Yes, we just add one more. Okay, just stand here. We'll go add one more softbox so that we get more. Is that what you mean? Correct? It's a trick. Always make sure it's a V-shape mm. and this overlaps. But you don't care, right? One light, two light. Okay, good. Okay. There you go, your two lights portrait. Oh, there's just too much of highlight. No, I like it. But it's too much of highlight. I think this is nice. Yep. Okay. We don't care about highlight, mm -hmm. right?